Welcome back to another exciting episode. Today I'm going to be showing you how I used WebSim to make a fake YouTube channel. And it's promised you it's not clickbait. Stick around. Okay, so WebSim.ai is a remarkable AI tool. And I have been playing with this thing and I absolutely love it. And I wanted to kind of show you guys what it can do. So, first of all, let's just go to my little YouTube channel that's totally not clickbait. And uh, let's let's click on this one right here. Uh, Breaking news: AI breakthrough rev revolutionizes healthcare. Although the thumbnail is a little weird, let's click on it and see what it says. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never so sorry gonna about run that. Uh, that was just a glitch, I guess. Let's try this one. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna so you get the point. Uh, set it up basically so it was just a uh, never gonna give you up YouTube channel uh, that only plays Rick Astley. You're welcome, Rick. WebSim AI is an incredible website slash AI machine that allows you to create your own websites using AI. All you gotta do is just type in for this. I've just typed in a uh, Hold on, let's, let's, I can show you exactly what I typed. It's super basic, simple instructions. Um, I just typed in, make a YouTube website and done that. Then I was like, uh, make the thumbnails look real, but every time you click it, it Rick rows you. And then I was like, okay, cause then it put it, gave it all Rick, you know, Rick Astley video pictures. And I was like, okay, keep the video links, but make the thumbnails each, look each different. And that's what it done. And I could have gotten more detail into it and made it more, uh, you know, convincing if you would. But I just kind of want to do something quick and kind of show you guys what you can do with it. Uh, some of the greatest things that I've seen from this are somebody here created Doom Web Sim Emulator. And it is literally a first person shooter. Okay, so somebody made this Doom game by simply, well, uh, that's definitely a very complex thing, but somebody made a complete Doom remake with AI. Um, let's check this out here. I like this one a lot. This is just basically, a, okay, that one requires you to. Okay. This is where your ice cream comes from. Oh. The creamy poop of a mystic unicorn. Totally clean, totally cool. And soft serve straight from a sphincter. So, this one plays random YouTube channels uh, or random YouTube videos. Uh, you can click next channel. Sh show you random stuff. Now, how are you feeling? Are you feeling okay? You, you feel can well? Random channel. Definitely very fun. Okay. Uh, but as you can see here, this thing is pretty awesome. Uh, they've got people have done keyboards. I mean, that's and you can record. Let's try to record something. All right, let's see if it plays back. <laughs> okay, the play button doesn't work back. That's okay. Oh, it does. Oh, that, that was working. That's okay. But let's check it out. Uh, somebody here does a like a th 3D roller coaster simulator. I guess what I'm trying to show you is that you can create any website you want, video games, um, YouTube channels, any of that stuff, just by clicking AI very common AI language. All you gotta do is just say, hey, you know, make a website about cheese and it will make a website about cheese. Uh, let me show you how to do it here. So you're gonna go to 
websim.ai and you're like, what would you like to create today? Uh, a site about cheese. Okay, you would just a second, it will create the site, a complete working website, cheese delight, cheesy delights. Um, and then some things like you don't may not have the pictures here. You may have to go into it like, hey, you know, can you add photos to it or whatever? But what if you said, okay, a make it a video game about cheese. All right, so now let's see what we get here. Cheese factory simulation. <laughs> uh, okay, I like it. Uh, let's make cheese. Okay. I can now produce more cheese, okay. Uh, <laughs> so this part works, but the simulation didn't work. Okay, let's make it a, a 2D game about rolling cheese. Cheesecraft.io, it changed the website name. Whoa, this has to be one of the funnest AI tools that I've ever used. Uh, although, you know, you still, you have to work it, you have to go into it and, you know, be detailed on what you want. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. Like right now, I don't know what, you know, I got, oh, whoa. Okay, so you go in here, you could go in and say, okay, make uh, the shift button, make the, Cheese jump faster. Now let's we'll see what that does for us. So just click it, it will automatically generate it. So I know that the shift button jumps it. Now let's we'll see what we can do with it. All right. Space to jump, hit shift for a super, hold shift for a super jump. Okay. That may have already been on there and I just didn't see it. So as soon as this it's loaded there we can start game I'm holding shift for a super jump but it's not happening <laughs> ah. all right let's see here make uh, cheese jump two times higher All right, let's see what that does for us. This is real time website making folks. This is the future of AI. This is what you're gonna be doing in just a few years. There's not gonna be people writing codes. I think code's still be gonna be important, but this is gonna be the, the quickest way to be doing in websites and creating things, if you would. All right, let's try this, start game. Oh yeah, that's definitely better, whoa. Okay, so let's make it so that when the cheese lands on the brown box, it crushes it. And then the cheese it blows up. Let's see. The box. All right, let's try that. Cheese roller fun. The name's just getting funner and funner. Land on the brown boxes to destroy them. All right, let's see what happens here. All right, here we go. Oh, missed that one. Hmm, okay, we'll try it again. I never said I was good, good at video games. Let's see here. Okay. Hey, that's supposed to destroy it. Okay. 
Let's make it so that it works. Nope, okay. So I typed in it's not destroying the box and the cheese lands on it. Let's see if it fixes it. Cheese roller dot fun. <laughs> the website's amazing. All right, let's start the game. All right. Oh, too slow. Okay. Okay, geez Louise. There we go. Hey, it should have destroyed that one. This thing's kind of hard. So now what I would do is I would try to go in and figure out how to um, get the timing of the cheese ball jumping up and down. And ah, um, as you can see now, it's, it's a little too slow. Whoa, that was nice. Whoa, ah, see, it should have killed that one. Um, so that's what I would do. I would go in and try to adjust the timing of the cheese ball and or cheese roll. And uh, yeah, uh, you could add music to it. Okay, so it's, let's, let's see if we can add music to it. Okay, uh, add fun uh, MIDI game. All right, so 8-bit, eight, eight we'll do 8-bit. Eight All right, let's we'll see what that does. So you could go in and you can make the boxes have be helicopters or you could you know make it uh so that when the cheese jumps up it uh destroys the boxes every time it hits them anything uh it collects all the boxes uh it's, it's just like i said it's a really fun ai program and this is just another part of future ai creativity and something that's like i said it's it's pretty freaking fantastic to be able to just type in a game there you go listen <laughs> it's a little loud hold on I'm gonna turn it down so I could do uh, music 50% I want to know if it, if it makes a noise when I kill the To admit that song sucks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah. Okay, so you get the drift. Um, go check out, um, you know, uh, websim.ai. Unfortunately, you can't share the website. I can't share cheese roller dot fun. Uh, it's it's not a real website. It stays all on board here at WebSim. So when you're done creating your website, you can click here or you can regenerate it. And you know, it might give me a different sound. Let's just see if it gives me a different tone if I regenerate it here. No music now. Huh. Well, can figure. So when you're done playing around, you can go back to this home button here and it will take you to the initial website it will show your last creation and you can look at here at the light new today and this week i can look at what's been created new um let's see if there's anything interesting here hey taxi let's see what this is touch to play so these people have put a lot of time into their games obviously i just put something together real quick here uh, I don't know what that means. Uh, really don't know what that means. Okay. Forever to get her ex. 
no idea what that means. So, so the Hey Taxi hacked website. Okay, nice. <laughs> so we created a, a hack website. Oh my gosh. So um, yeah, you can see the most liked ones right here. Of course, they have a Discord and a Reddit and, and a Twitter. And this is all free right now. I don't think that there's... Um, I don't know if they're going to ever charge for this. I mean, it's kind of a goofy website that is really fun. Uh, somebody did a, oh, somebody, a Pac-Man. You could do Pac-Man for days. Like, you could just type in, uh, make a Pac-Man game. Uh, arcade style. And uh, it will just literally... In just minutes, we'll create all the HTML or JavaScript, whatever, to create a Pac-Man style video game. Like, look at this. Now, sometimes when it creates a game, it doesn't always work. You kind of got to go back into it and tweak it. Uh, I've done some Pac-Mans before, and the builds are super fast. They kind of really go fast, and Pac-Man's kind of hard to control. Uh, but you know, you get the drift of it. It's still loading here. Let's just see what this looks like, and then I'll <laughs> look how fast the ghosts are going. Look how fast Pac Man's going. Ah! So, uh, so, let's see if I can get that. Oh, no, no, no. So it didn't turn the, um, the ghost blue. It is eating the. Uh, little pebbles there. There's no way I could get that. I have to be super. Hold on. I'm just using my uh, laptop here to record this. So, hey, I don't know that I could. <laughs> I'm not. I don't know that I'm fast enough to get that. Anyway, you can. You get the drift. If you wanted to, you could go in, and you could make it so that the ghost and Pac-Man slow down. All I just got to do is type in like go slow by 50%. You can add MIDI music. You can uh, have the Pac-Man shooting guns, whatever you want to do. Uh, but you get, you get it. And uh, I think it's awesome. I hope you guys like it. And if you're making stuff on it, just, you know, let us know, put a comment below. And uh, what do you guys think about it? So uh, until next time, I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.